We are here right now standing in a cypress dome, one of the ecosystems that's highlighted in the board game that the players have to pass through as they um, move through the Everglades. So a cypress dome is, I think, maybe one of the most magical, special places on Earth. It's um, glittering waters reflect the light and um, has lush plants all over. So the hardwood hammock and the pine rocklands are the drier ecosystems here in the Everglades. Um, and then you have the cypress domes that are a little bit lower level um, and so they fill up with water during the wet season, but they'll drain pretty dry during the dry season. And then you have the sawgrass prairie and the mangrove forests. Um, cypress domes are really incredible. They start um, in a solution hole, the middle of the cypress dome starts, um, the cypress dome starts from a cypress seed falling into a solution hole, um, and cypress trees starting to grow. A solution hole is a pool in the limestone um, where there's deeper water, and the cypress seeds are able to sprout there. They grow up, they drop seeds around them, more trees grow out from around the initial trees. But as they grow out, because they started in deeper water where the solution hole is, it's um, there's less and less depth of water as they grow out away from the solution hole. So the trees grow shorter as they grow further from the deep water. So if you were to view a cypress dome overhead, it would look like an actual dome with the tall trees in the middle and shorter trees um, ex radiating outwards from the center. Um, and sometimes, like in this dome, we'll go check it out in a minute, in the middle of the dome there's actually a really deep part that's so deep that, actually, that trees don't grow there, so there's kind of like a donut hole in the middle of the dome.